Okay. Testing one, two, testing. Hopefully everything is working for this morning. Sounds pretty good for right now. If you are joining us, we should be live and working pretty well. This is our triple threat weather cast. If you are just tuning in, again, we're live on Periscope. Twitter and my personal News Channel 3 Facebook page as we were on earlier this morning with a lot of information going on here. And thank you very much for joining us on all those social media websites. We continue again to see some quiet conditions in the Mid-South. We'll talk more about what the forecast is doing in a little bit. If you've never tuned in here before, welcome to Weather Overtime. It's our online exclusive News Channel 3 video weather blog and you can get more information about what's going on in the Mid-South area by keeping tuned to this website right here, wrhe.com slash weather questions concerns ideas about what you want to see on here we'd love to know about it but we can't read your mind so please drop me an email at austin.onic at wrag.com for more information on that forecast if you can't stick around for the whole thing available right here in the blue bar red bar showing again social media here there and also on the screen over there uh sissy character welcome to the show Hopefully the goats are doing well for this morning. Quiet conditions in much of the Mid-South area. We'll continue again to see some quiet conditions for now, that is. But as we get into the next couple of days, more chances of showers and thunderstorms could be a bit of a problem out there. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Well, radar is having a little bit of problems this morning, so we'll just go back to the big radar display and show you a little bit more about what's happening there, which again does involve the possibility of more scattered showers across uh, portions of the Mid-South, but just not seeing a lot out there where it comes to heavy amounts of rainfall. Now, looking back toward the north and west of us, Kansas, Missouri, back into around uh, areas north of Oklahoma, that's where we're seeing more chances of scattered showers across much of the area. Trisha Wooten-Sullivan, welcome from Senatobia. Thanks for joining us early on Saturday morning. Let's take a quick check and see what's going on on Mars. The lineup of Mars, Earth, and the Sun have finally changed a little bit, so now we can get data coming back in from Mars. The Sun's interference kind of blocked that out by just a little bit, so we've got a high temperature of about minus 0.4 on Mars, and that again, not doing too bad for this time of the year, but it can be a lot lower. As you can see, the low temperature of 110 degrees below zero. That's the low temperature on Mars at the Curiosity Rover Environmental Monitoring Station. Ground temperature of 36 degrees, as you can see right there, and 126 degrees below zero. That again, if you'd like to see more information about this, all you have to do is go to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory's Mars Rover website, the Curiosity Rover at mars.nasa.gov. For more information, if you miss any of the websites, I'll put them into the comments section a little bit later on. Vicki Cunningham, I didn't order it, but uh, you can talk to the man upstairs. He's in charge. I'm just in uh, public relations pretty much on there. Marilyn Cox, welcome to the show, and good morning. And good morning from Teresa Burcham. Thanks for stopping on by. Am I going to tell you no rainfall? I'd like to. Well, for today, yeah, I'm going to tell you that, but unfortunately not going to be the case elsewhere out there. Robert Williams, great day today, no question about that. No earthquakes to report. Port in the Mid-South. We've got, again, quiet conditions across uh, much of the area, not seeing anything in the way of earthquakes on the New Madrid Fault. A lot going on, as usual, back on over into Oklahoma, but not much happening here. If you'd like to see more of our webcams available from the News Channel 3 Weatherbug system, go to wreg.com slash webcams for more information on that. Currently, again, on radar, we're not seeing much of anything here, but way back on up to our northwest, that's going to be something we're going to have to look out for over the course of the next couple of days that gets closer to us. What we've got into the next several hours is going to be a new storm system coming in from out west. This is going to be making its way through the Plain States, diving in from the Rockies, and this is going to give us our next storm system. It's going to be heading in late tonight and going through the rest of the next couple of days, leaving behind kind of a stationary front strung out, and as this front continues to basically stick around the area, it's going to wobble back and forth for a bit, creating more chances of showers and thunderstorms out there as we get into the course of the next several days. So if you have outdoor plans, today is going to be the best day possible for getting those done. You're going to have to deal with more chances of showers and thunderstorms over the next several days, and we'll talk about that in the forecast. Storm Prediction Center and the National Weather Service in Memphis is showing the possibility of a few strong thunderstorms in the Mid-South tomorrow afternoon and evening, and some of those could produce gusty winds, localized flooding from heavy rainfall, maybe the possibility of some small hail up there, 
there. We'll be watching out for that again throughout the course of the rest of the day So and all the way through the weekend as well. So keep it tuned for more information on that. Uh, Trey Cool, any risk for severe weather this week? We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with the weather over the course of the rest of the weekend. We do not have really much of anything in the way of very hot conditions today. Temperatures back into the lower to mid 80s. Low temperatures tonight, comfortable, but the wind's going to be turning back up out of the south. So that's going to give us again some warmer conditions into tomorrow, only in the upper 60s to lower 70s. A little warmer than what we saw this morning with some temperatures back in the 50s. Sunday, we'll be looking for temperatures in the mid 80s or so, and chances of rainfall widespread across the area. Not a complete washout, but again, looking at widespread activity across uh, much of the mid south into the course of the next couple of days. Low temperatures on Sunday night, lower to mid 70s with that southerly wind coming up and keeping the temperatures up for a little bit. And the showers and thunderstorms continue Sunday night into around Monday with again a good chance of rainfall across all the mid south on Monday. High temperatures Monday, mid 80s. Keep in mind what month we're in. This is August, so we could easily be back in the high 90s. And that is again a bit of a problem out there for right now. But the temperatures, wonderful for this time of the year. Monday night, low temperatures again in the upper 60s to lower 70s right around the metro area. Showers and thunderstorms, most numerous along and south of I-40 Monday night into Tuesday. And also looking at that chance of showers and thunderstorms continuing but draining a bit as we go into Tuesday. Less of a chance north of I-40, better chances south of I-40 in the dark green color. 30, 40, 50 percent chance there and high temperatures on Tuesday in the lower to mid 80s. That's the way it goes throughout the rest of the week. Highs on Wednesday in the mid 80s. Chances of showers and thunderstorms lingering but not a great chance for everybody. Thursday's high temperatures again mid to upper 80s maybe a little bit more sunshine and a little bit less in the way of showers and thunderstorms but they still will be possible across the area, again, mainly from the I-40 corridor on down toward the south. So that's something we're going to have to look for at that location here. Let me get back into the severe weather sector here and give you an idea as to what's going on from the Storm Prediction Center. We do not have anything going on, uh, as Mr. Cool asked about here. We do not have anything happening directly for the Mid-South today. All the threat we have is going to be out into Kansas and Missouri, so not a threat being seen for us. But as we get into tomorrow, that's where we see a marginal threat uh, in the dark green shaded category for portions of the Mid-South. Actually, all of the Mid-South is going to be under that marginal threat, and that threat will stick around very early Monday as we get into around the area of, of Monday early next week. Scattered chances of thunderstorms, less of a threat of severe weather, but again, this still will be possible across portions of the area. So again, tomorrow afternoon and evening, that'll be the best chance for severe weather. It's not huge, but it is something you do need to pay attention to, and we'll be doing that here at News Channel 3, so stay tuned for more there. Again, little if anything really going on at this time here, and likewise in the tropics, we do have two storm systems to keep an eye on, and as of right now, going to the five-day outlook, one of these storm systems, again, just out to around the Caribbean area. That's the one shaded in orange. Less of a chance of this developing, but going into around the area south of Brownsville. So if you're heading to the Texas or Louisiana Gulf Coast, this storm system will be arriving earlier than the one that is farther out into the Atlantic. This one stands a much greater chance. It's red instead of orange, so this one over here stands more of a chance of developing into something serious, and we'll be watching that with a lot of interest out there. This could eventually wander up toward the East Coast states, and that could be a problem if you are going to be traveling. So two storm systems in the Atlantic and now the Caribbean. Again, we'll be watching these with a lot of interest, and so will the National Hurricane Center, so stay tuned for more on that. I've got to hop back out on set. We've got to close out daybreak here in just a little bit. We're doing that live on the show at this time. It's just about quarter till, so we've got to wrap things up. Questions, concerns, ideas, let me know about them, especially pictures if you have them. Send them to me on Facebook, on Twitter, or on Instagram. We'd love to be able to show those online and on air if the pictures from what you got for weather across the Mid-South, or send them to me here at austin.onic at wrg.com. Live and direct from downtown Memphis early Saturday morning, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Thanks for joining me for a complete weather update on weather overtime and stay tuned for much more throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online.